hello guys welcome once again in this video i will show you how to use fade animation with your wpf control so for example i have this application which i made till now and i have this image in my main window so i want this image when i hover over on this image and when i leave the image area then it should fade in or fade out whatever i want so let's see how can i make it fade in and fade out with my mouse hover so let's get started just select your image and this is not specific to this image tool you can do it for button you can do it for background image you can do it for uh, other controls also so i'm just giving the example for this image tool but you can do it for other other tool also but uh, but you just need to follow the same procedure so just click this uh, image and go to the properties and go to its events here and what i'm searching for is mouse mouse leave em event so i will search for mouse leave event i found it here mouse leave event just click here and double click this box and we will reach to the mouse leave event button action perform but first we need to import the animation namespaces so just go at the top and here we will import some namespace so right using system dot windows dot media dot animation so th because this is a part of animation we need to import this so now once you have imported this what you need to go do is go to your image mouse leave event which you have just created and here we will write image and whatever control you are using so because i'm making this for the image so this image that's why i'm writing their image so whatever control you are using just write the name of you, that control and sorry what and give it a variable name i give it img is equal to once again image and not this one bus but just cover it with bracket and then write sender now in the second line we will use the animation so write double animation and what we want to do is first we will give this double animation a variable name so i will name it as animation itself is equal to new double animation and in the bracket we will pass some argument so first argument we want for our image is it should fade fade out so i will give zero here so it will decrease your opacity to zero and comma i will give the time span for which i want to fade in so i will write time span dot from seconds and give the number of seconds so for example 2 seconds 
okay so you have written these two lines and then in next line what you need to do is just copy this image variable from here img and write dot begin animation in the bracket we will pass two arguments so first argument is image dot opacity property this one comma this double animation so just copy this variable name animation and paste it here so you have written this for fading out and in the same way when we enter our mouse in the image area in this image area we want the image to come back so once again select this image here and go to the properties and go to event once again and this time we are searching for a mouse enter so just select this mouse enter here and double click it and in the code what we are going to do is we are go copying this code for which we have written for mouse leave and just paste it here and just replace the zero by one so it will fade in now when we run the program and see here we are seeing the image and when I leave the image area it fades out and when I enter into the image area it fades in fades out and fades in right so in this way you can create a create a fading effect in your application I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now